processes and cycles. Process one, eh? Process one is any change that a system undergoes from equilibrium state to another, and the path is the passes eh? a series of states through which a system during, uh, which a system passes during a process. So need to specify the initial and final states of the process as well as the path it follows and the interactions with the surroundings. So example here we have state one and state two. So this is the process path from state one to state two. Okay. So this is the process. So we need to identify which is the initial and the final states of the process. Okay. The quasi equilibrium or quasi static. So when the process proceeds in such a manner that the system remains infinitesimally close to equilibrium state at all times. So sufficiently slow process that allows the system to adjust to itself internally so that properties in one part of the system do not change any faster than those at other part. So this is an example of slow compression. It is called, it is called as quasi equilibrium. And this is the example of very fast compression. Okay. So it is a non quasi equilibrium. The prefix ISO is often used to design a uh, process for which a particular property remains constant. So this is an uh, example. We have isothermal process, which is uh, a process which when T remains constant, or we can also call it as a thermal equilibrium. Remember? Uh, isobaric, the P is constant throughout eh, the process. The isochoric is the specific volume remains constant. Remember about the specific volume? Okay, specific volume is volume over the mass. Okay, it is remains constant. Okay, so you have to remember these keywords. So this is the graph, uh, the example of graph. Okay, a system is said to have undergo undergone a cycle if it returns to its initial state at the end of the process. So example, we have a uh, process uh, A from 1 to 2 okay and when uh, if okay this is initial state this is the final state but then uh, but then uh, it can back it can uh, it just go back to state number 1 and from state number 2 uh, goes to state number 1 from process B so therefore at this uh, process the initial state is from number 2 to and the final state is number 1 so if we if if the path is from number 1 to 2 and 2 to 1 is a it is called as a cycle because it uh, is said to have undergone a cycle if it returns to its initial state at the end of the process so for the cycle the initial and final states are identical okay